Ghana has legalized the cultivation, importation or sale of genetically modified crops. The country's lawmakers approved the Biosafety Act 2010 before rising for the Christmas break. The endorsement of GM crops in the country is being met with legitimate concerns. In the second of a four-part series on GM technology, Soyoko Kwakuchre visits a farm in the rural area where she discusses GM crops with a peasant farmer. One of the concerns is whether it is safe for human consumption. GMOs are living organisms genetically altered using techniques such as gene cloning and protein engineering. It applies to plants, animals or microorganisms. Mr. Tetenate is a farmer. He's been in this business for the past 32 years. But the question is, does he know anything about GM seeds? Naturally, anything which is not natural has its uh, backside or what have you. Has the agricultural scientists, have they done enough research? Are they convinced about these things? I will plead with the government and the parliamentarians, what have you, to put a stop to that. The 62-year-old peasant farmer has a 30-acre farm plantation. He says moving into GMO technology is not the best practice. We have our own nice seeds. We met our fathers. They have got their own way of preserving their seeds. And things are going well. Look at my maize. What again do you want? We are harvesting around eight, nine massive bags of base from an, an acre. What again do we want? So please, I'm afraid, let's put a stop to it. Let's put a hold to that until we are convinced that what is coming on, it is something quite okay. Before we have to jump onto it, then we jump onto it. His wife, Mercenati, who is also a farmer, cultivates okra. She said it is always difficult to get a good market for the naturally cultivated okra because they are smaller in size than the GMO okra. A small fertilizer of organic. They prefer the inorganic okra to the organic because it looks bigger in size than the organic. At the market, buyers want to pay according to the size. That's our worry. With her experience of GM crops, she has vowed never to cultivate GM crops in her lifetime. The natural okra has a sweet taste, but when used to prepare stew, but the inorganic okra does not taste that good. Certainly, the accusations and counter-accusations from both opponents and proponents of GMO technology will continue. I have a friend, a scholar friend, who always has in mind that even cassava bears on the tree just like the plantain. So, I mean, this is a question that should get uh, the farmers involved and the agri scientists, and no, it, I mean, the parliamentarians have no role to play in this issue. Even if they have a man like me, she will be sent to parliament. That my little knowledge, I met my old people on the farm doing, I have to push it to them. So they know actually what all this is about. Look, I don't use chemical fertilizer, I go the organic way. After Every morning you clean the animals, you sweep, and you deposit it on the field. The tractor comes to incorporate the soil. And look at the maize, as I'm saying. You just look at the maize. Is it not nice? What again do you? Those GMO, uh, uh, anti GMO activists, uh, I've heard some of them on radio. And really, I, I get very, very concerned and even begin to wonder what is the basis. Because it's really propaganda, you know, it's not based on facts. And I think it's, a, it's abuse of, of our, in, our qualification and our intellect to think that we will sit for some foreign uh, uh, foreigner to come and write our laws. That's totally ridiculous. Remember, there are two groups of scientists, even in the U.S. The scientists that are paid by the Monsantos and the seed companies and the independent scientists. Whereas the scientists paid by Monsanto and seed company said, oh, it's safe. The other says, no, we need to be cautious. There's evidence that it could be harmful, you know. So what we need to do now is to educate consumers that, yes, GM is there. It may have some advantages, but then it has these negative advantages. And if you, if you want to eat it, yes, you can go ahead and eat it. But there's evidence that in the long run it's going to affect our health. 
and the people can now make a choice. But the fact still remains with the passage of the Biosafety Act 2010 by Parliament, there are many such foods already on the market. So you call Kwakutre, GBC 24 Accra.